And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some LeBlanc Frostbite. We are going to be trying just kind of a newer version of Frostbite with uh, like the mid-range Frostbite shell with Sejuani being replaced by LeBlanc. We got this new three mana champion that's a 5-2 and 5 uh, power of course is going to be really important for our deck for a number of reasons but for the most part it's going to be because of Trifarian Assessor and um, Reckoning, right? So we're going to be a Reckoning deck with Trifarian Assessor. We also got Whispered Words that wants us to be striking for five quite a bit, and Bloody Business that has an ally with five plus power strikes an enemy. So those will all be really nice. Um, LeBlanc hopefully will be uh, leveling up pretty quickly, seeing you deal 15 plus damage. Our deck can do that pretty well. We're going to have like Enrage Yetis be five fives, Trifarian Glory Seeker also a five one. Ash obviously has five power as well. So we're going to pair LeBlanc with um, different Frostbite cards, different protection spells. We got Elixir of Iron, Troll Chance for protection. So it looks like for Frostbite, besides Ash, we're going to have um, Icefill Archer, Flash Freeze, and Harsh Winds. All right, so this should be uh, this should be interesting. This was a viewer-submitted donation deck. A viewer uh, built this deck, put it together, submitted it, um, and uh, we're going to try it out. And let's, let's try it out, because we've only played one LeBlanc deck so far. I want to play some more LeBlanc decks. So let's see how we go. We're going to do our five games in ranked. All right, playing against some spiders to start with. And so I was, I was told that like the champion is pronounced LeBlanc, like without the C, and you know kind of did. And then uh, somebody here in Twitch chat kind of showed like the um, Google translation and or just like the Google pronunciation. There we go. And yeah, and that's the correct pr French pronunciation for it. But it does it does show that like for English, the English pronunciation of this card is LeBlanc, um, and that that's an acceptable English pronunciation. So I'll just do that because I like saying the C LeBlanc, LeBlanc. I don't know, like the French way, you just like don't pronounce the N or the C. I don't like that as much. Anyway, sorry that was a lot. I I definitely want to mulligan the five mana cards. And I kind of want to mulligan the calling strike, but I'm going to keep it. Sorry, opponent. I was talking. My bad, my bad. I hope they're not mad at me and, and they're going to take like forever for every decision now. I'm sorry. I know I took a little while for that. I'm just going to pass here. I don't really love House Spider. Or I don't really love, sorry, Glory Seeker challenging like these little spiders. I'm going to be using like Culling Strike on these. Now, Brother's Bond is a card that I guess I didn't really consider too much. Cool, no Brother's Bond, no Frenzied Skitter. Well, it looks like they had a bunch of choices, and they cho chose something immediately. A chill in the air. If it's a fight they want. And then a fight they shall get. I wonder what that even means. All the world on one arrow. As the arrow flies. What does that even mean? All the world on one arrow. The three sisters, the arrow. So, I don't get it. The three sisters are the whole world? The one arrow? That is a pretty epic picture, though. That, like, town. Got this huge bow. Alright, looks like another Stalking Shadows. Yeah, maybe the fate of the world rests on, an, on that arrow. That could be something, Choo Choo. Yeah, like, the fate of the world rests on an arrow. I could see that. No backing down. 
I don't want Unspeakable Horror slash Foul Feast to kill Ash. I know I have the Troll Chain for protection, but I don't really want to use that right away. Um. I need just a moment. We fight for one Freljord. One Freljord. Uh, the bad part about that is, like, these are all four power now, and so, um, you know, that hurts my reputation quite a bit. Um, and, of course, it's ephemeral, so, right? Like, so that's a great blocker, because it's, like, ephemeral also, so that, like, you know, makes... So all that together, like, that's that was quite a good card for them to play. Really makes my life worse. I can basically use a troll chant here. I guess I do it. I guess I attack and use Troll Chan. Maybe I don't. Maybe I just pass. That was a really good quality card to play. I wish I, you know, I wish I would have just like attacked immediately and then just just ate in that and dealt, gotten two of them on there. That was a really good turn for them. Yeah, that's that was a big deal with those being four being five <laughs> with that reputation all right good turn opponent good turn good skitter so I don't know like they they did play a skitter I, I wasn't like paying close enough attention they did play a skitter last turn also so I don't know if this means this ephemeral means they have another skitter or if they've already played the two they got from the stalking shadow i wasn't paying close enough attention i think it's it's there's a very good chance there's another skitter so i think we should just kind of be uh, mindful of the the fact that there's a very good chance they have another skitter for the empire for the glory of noxus show them the way show th Show them the way. Come closer. I don't bite. We all know that ain't true. Blast them. Stand and defend. Um, Nijas, I did I did not make the, the, the current list that we're playing. This is a viewer submitted list. I did I did not make this list. Let's see why we're playing any card over a different card. Alright, that doesn't level up Ash. I should have played. I shouldn't have played. I should not have played this Glory Seeker last turn. I should have played this Iceville Archer. You are mine. Well, I have to attack. I don't have another option. Because allowing them to cast Decimate is not an option. All right, good. Right, like so. I I have to attack immediately. Awesome. Whoa, that's a lot of champion mastery over there for Vyheimer Victor. Vyheimer Victor. Um, all these cards are like not bad for this kind of matchup. Like none of these are bad. I mean, I like them all. I don't. the The problem is I have nothing to do early, but I like all these cards. I guess I'll just get rid of the whisper words. But I, I like this. Definitely looks like a slow deck, right? Ionia PNZ. I kind of want whispered words, and with them being slower, I mean, I, I like hearth. I mean, I like all these cards. Send that back. Okay, turn one Omen Hawk. Had it the whole time. Okay. 
Had it the whole time. Never not Omen Hawkin. Omen Hawk Tie. That's a big glory seeker. Victory requires a sharp blade. Take a stance and hold it. Hmm. I don't like that card. I know I could challenge an elixir of iron, but I don't really want to do that. I'd rather do this. So I think it's really likely they have another like thermogenic beam removal spell like they want me to play the ash and then they use removal on it. I need just a moment. We'll play another glory seeker. Okay. All right, I like troll chant. All the world on one arrow. So because of the troll chant I'm playing this. I just wanted the, the more powerful thing to try to kill the victor. Better chance that the victor dies with the more powerful thing. That's a good card. Good card against Heimer. I was trying to think of like something like cool to say that Vi stands for this instead, but I couldn't think of anything cool. Um, they could still Mystic Shot and kill my Ash. Awesome to Mystic Shot. So by by playing the Hearth card, you know, I didn't keep that up. And maybe maybe that was just wrong that I should have just gone, you know, Culling Strike. Instead of playing the Hearth card, just go you know, that flash freeze Culling Strike. Alright, we'll just go cooling strike here. Down. Get down to one. One is the loneliest number. Eminently logical. The trap is set. Where are you at? You're at three still? Yuck. Perfect. Perfect draw. Level up. I'll lead us to victory. Vi stands for violin. Vi stands for victor. There we go. 2 0. Oh. GG easy. Now begins <laughs> So how does the card Spirit Fire work? Okay, because Spirit Fire says that the other that your enemy units gain the minus two, minus zero, and at round end deal two damage to me. Like it so like it that's a trait that the enemy units are gaining. So that's why it says deal two to me. Because each enemy unit that is in play gains that trait. We got Lucian. Azir. Flash Freeze maybe not bad against Lucian Azir, honestly, but... And I like Hearthguard blocking, but we do need to kind of fill out our curve with other stuff, not Assessor. Mm, Alright. If it's made of sand, I can light it. I would like to combine the Icefield Archer and the Glory Seeker together, but that would be turn four. Maybe I'll just do this. Oh, 
chill in the air. I got the landmark. That's not so bad. So my two mana card traded with their t with two different two mana cards from them. And mine and mine also had the vulnerable from the rock hopper. So like, yeah, you know, like all that together, not bad. Okay. Um I think I'm, I think I may just calling strike that. Anyway, we got a, a new Twitch Prime sub. We got Gibshaw, second month. Y'all get some hype in the chat. Thank you so much for that support, Gibshaw. You are our very first sub today. You are incredible. Thank you very much. What do I think about Shapestone? Plus three, plus one is a lot. It is a lot. Um, yeah, for one mana, that's that's a pretty good card for one mana. Um, I think it's I think it's perfectly fine though. I think it's okay as as is. I don't I don't think that anything needs to change about it. They have printed really, really good combat tricks, you know, like Troll Chan and stuff. And I think it's just kind of on par with some other good combat tricks. I don't really have any, like, great ideas here. Don't get in my way. I could see passing here and not letting them play something post combat. Okay. Where are we at? Two? Three. I think that's okay. I know I can use a flash freeze here to save five life, but I think my life total is okay for now. I need just a moment. My goal is going to be to kill them right here. It's a pretty solid goal. Alright, cool. That goal worked. 3 no. GG's. Another Lucian deck, this one with Hecarim, so gotta be Grand Plaza. So hey, opponents have some Champion Mastery going on. Um, I mean, I, I love these I love these combat tricks, but we'll mulligan this. We need we need more units. All right, we got the Ice Veil Archer. Whoa, LeBlanc? That's in our deck? Forgot about that card. All right, so this is gonna be our first time trying out LeBlanc. Don't get in my way. Victory requires a sharp blade. That's right, a sharp blade. Could be the two mana sacrifice, draw two. Nope. Okay. Just Grand Plaza. Hopefully not. Cool. Not Grand Plaza. 
not necessarily cool as in like this thing makes like their ephemerals much bigger, but as long I like those ephemerals not having challenger. So I, I like that. Looks like they're gonna be playing a spell to make some ephemerals. They sure are. I'm just gonna kill this. And then play Trappa. And I think it's Trappa over LeBlanc, because then the Trapper puts that Enraged Yeti on top. And so that's a card that we want to play early, try to get that Enraged Yeti. If they give these challengers somehow, that's obviously really, really bad for me with me tapping out. But I don't think they're going to be able to. So I think I'm okay. This is a odd attack, to say the least. What's the payoff here? Single combat. Okay. That's just a two mana card, kill my two mana card. That's just fine. So we have the same number of cards in hand as they do, but we got a 3 3 and a 3 1 in play. They have two mana. I will unite the frail yard. Does give them the opportunity to just get some more ephemerals to block. Like that. So basically they played that, I could have dealt 6 damage to them, but instead they play that card. Hmm. Good card, V. Hecarim. You going Harrowing? They just have more little ephemerals. More 1-1s one -one and 2-2s. Two -two they are going Harrowing. It is a leveled up Lucian. Tread carefully. If it's a fight they want. Stay back. So you're thinking that like, like why isn't the you may be thinking well that that Lucian's got that double attack, shouldn't it trade with the Enrage Yeti? But of course it has ephemeral, so once it does the first strike, then it just dies from the ephemeral. And so this is lethal. This is 18, and I don't really expect them to do anything about it. There we go. And we get the cool LeBlanc level up. Look at that LeBlanc getting the win. Putting in lethal, that was a big part of our win right there, LeBlanc. Good job. Way to attack the lethal. A new Freljord will rise. A new Freljord will rise. Good job, LeBlanc. When you're just in like the first week or two of a meta game, I don't think it's really very productive to think to say like some decks are better than others when we don't really know exactly what the whole, like the meta game is going to really look like or anything like that. I think it's all really what you should be thinking about right now is just you know like learning and and. Uh, you know, experimenting and learning and, and um, stuff like that. I think it's kind of too early to say something's better than something else. Especially when they're similar decks, so like a, a Sivir, Sivir LeBlanc or this. I don't know, they're a little different. All right, so what are we doing? Okay, so Fiora alone. Okay, so Harsh Winds is great against Fiora. Okay, Omen Hawk not great against Fiora. Sorry. I had to figure out, well, what are we doing? Okay. Trifarian Assessor worse without Omen Hawk. Okay. I will unite the 
I will unite the frail yord. By my honor, you must die. Uh, that's pretty commanding. You must die. By my honor. Let them eat souls. Try me. Okay, which deck is most efficient at being aggro? Definitely the other one. This is this one's going to be a, a better mid-range deck. This one's going to be more mid-range. The other one's going to be more aggressive, more aggro. Do I use Cooling Strike already? I guess so. I mean, do we use Cooling Strike already, or can we get away with Glory Seeker? Yeah, just have another one. Another one bites the dust. Yeah. And another one's gone, and another one's gone. I need just a moment. Save your worlds. We speak with blades. Face me! <laughs> just the way I like it. So, bloody business with the... You know, like, that could be really nice to be able to kill the Fiora, but really what... They could have uh, Brittle Steel. All right, so Brittle Steel could mess up bloody business. I guess it's worth trying though, because I don't, I don't really have a better plan for this turn. Um, also, oh, they have a lot of things. I guess Troll Chant would also mess it up, because then it wouldn't have five plus power anymore. Um, single combat would still kill. They would just kill both of my things and kill the Fiora. Maybe I just wait. Maybe I just wait. With having Assessor. Alright, it's getting a Rage Yeti on top. <laughs> You're not the one mana unit I was looking for. Sorry, I'm Hawk not playing you. That could be a good card. Now. Yeah, I guess it's just open attack. Because I could play Assessor and draw into the Enraged Yeti and have the Enraged Yeti in and everything. Um, but then if I do that, then it opens up, you know, like, can Concerta Strike and, you know, fight spell like that, like, to kill the Ash. And then in, and then after, like, Harsh Winds and then they repost. And it's all kind of annoying. This makes their life a lot more difficult. So we trade Troll Chant for two of their spells for one Troll Chant and one... What elixir of iron from them. Counter and strike. Hmm. Well, that still doesn't kill my LeBlanc. So that's fine. And now they only have one mana. So they kind of need brittle steel or. They're in trouble. Well, this is a good spot for this. They're in trouble. GG's. A new will rise. Like how somebody in chat yesterday was saying that uh, Fiora decks are basically like they're like boss battles, right? Like they they have 
like the three phases if you can get rid of the three phases you win the game and like the first you know first phase of fiora second phase of fiora third one of fiora we got we did that we killed the first fiora they played another one um and then they just played like the fiora champion spell and we still got rid of the second fiora so it's like we got rid of three fioras there i know they did shuffle one back in their deck but you know it's shuffled back in their deck somewhere and so that game is over once we did that so um so there we go so that's that's our deck so i i liked how this played out i think that i think that frostbite still really underrated and frostbite uh played really well against a lot of the stuff that our opponents were doing question is here do you not like the three sisters card so yeah like i said before i didn't i didn't put this list together this was a, a viewer submitted list here this donation deck um but what so would i personally put three sisters in this deck probably not i don't know three sisters you know, like you can play it over flash freeze, but then you got to spend that extra mana for the flash freeze. I know you, you can do some other cool stuff. I don't know. I'd have to, I just haven't had really had very much um, experience with the three sisters to really have too, too much of an opinion on it. I can say I was really happy with flash freeze and I, I liked that card a ton and it was really nice having just like our three spell mana that we'd save up from some earlier turns to be able to cast it and not have to worry about having that extra mana from the three sisters um, that, you know, that, that can break you, right? If you have to spend four mana for a flash freeze when we're talking about, um, you know, saving mana on your earlier turns and then having, like, you know, maybe you don't play anything on turn one or turn two and then you have LeBlanc and Ash on three and three and four and you need that three spell mana for flash freeze. You can't afford four mana. Like, that's a that's definitely a real thing. So, um, I, yeah, so I wasn't, I wasn't disappointed that we weren't playing three sisters. Would you recommend Elixir over Brittle Steel? I, I think so. It kind of depends on on what you're facing. I was happy with the elixir of iron that we had access to, but I've always really liked brittle steel too. It's kind of like if you're going to be playing against more like uh, I don't know. I was I was real happy. Like I, I think they're both amazing. Honestly, I love brittle steel. I love elixir of iron. I think they're both really good. And so like I don't really have a big recommendation. That's another one that if you want to play brittle steel instead, go ahead. If you're playing against more removal spells more damage based stuff you're going to want your elixir of iron if you're going to be in combat with smaller units more and facing more aggressive decks you probably want your brittle steel um but i don't have a i don't have like a huge preference on that either the brittle steel of course levels up your ash and so that's really nice and it, it can be really good against like opposing leblancs um you know if you're playing against like leblanc sivir a lot brittle steel is really nice uh with the frostbite there against LeBlancs and Sivir, you got to get rid of the spell shield first, but then it's great against Sivir after you do that. I, I can see, again, I can see either way, right? Like both, like with these kind of interaction spells, it's kind of like, what kind of scenarios do you think that you're going to end up in more? Um, but if you're going to be playing against like Lissandra decks, like, right, like you're going to never want a Brittle Steel against a Lissandra deck. Um, you're going to really, really want Elixir of Iron again in those kind of matchups to keep things alive against removal spells and avalanches and that kind of stuff. So it kind of depends on what, what you're facing. Um, Bloody business was, was fine. It is, there are a lot of cards that it's vulnerable to, but you know, it helped us kill that Fiora there. I, I think that it was just to find one of, I was happy with that. Yeah. I agree that bloody business probably just does not need the power requirement to be kind of like a, you know, when Concerted Strike for, for one extra mana, you get two enemies or two allies strike one single enemy. I think for having one ally strike an enemy, and then you have you have Siphoning Strike for, again, one extra mana. It's one ally strike an enemy, but then it also can give all of your champions plus two, plus two, which is incredible. Um, this really doesn't need that that requirement, I don't think, because that does get kind of messy, right? Like you, they just, you know, uh, troll chant mess your mess your day up now you don't get bloody business anymore um i don't know if it's because it's noxus and noxus has to have a worse card i don't know why exactly it has that clause there but it probably doesn't need it whisper words is awesome yeah i really like the whisper words in there i i think that card's awesome i think that makes sense to play two of those two assessors yeah but Whis whisper words is a really good quality card and this deck does a pretty decent job of turning on the reputation which makes it even better so that, that should definitely be a two of. So there we go. So Ash, Frostbite cards, all that kind of stuff, still good. And we ended up going 5 and 0, oh, first 5 0 oh in a while. Um, yeah, this is my kind of deck. Y'all know that I've, I used to play a ton of mid range Frostbite. I used to play a bunch of Ash decks. I've always really liked uh, Frostbite and Trifarian Glory Seeker together. So this kind of deck was right up my alley. 
and uh, you know it all worked out well. All right, but anyway, that's LeBlanc Frostbite. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, feel free to leave those comments over there. Always love seeing those. So you know, let me know what you think of the deck, um, anything like that. If you try it out yourself, how does it go for you? Or um, other other kind of decks you want to see on stream? The good comments there too. Just anything about the games, any questions, comments, um, you know, leave those over there. All right, but that's it for LeBlanc Frostbite. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.